Hello everybody, we are back with another Witcher 3. I am now going to up the difficulty if I can find where it is. I think it's a gameplay. Yeah, there it is. Just a story. Nope. I think I'll go... Yeah, I'm not going to put it on the highest. To be on the easiest, it's kind of going to be too much of a step up, but yeah. Difficulty's raised. We're in Skelliger. Let's go. Right, so that waypoint. Okay. So if I run around here, actually Roach is up here, so I'll go to Roach first, and then I will jog on over, come on, there we go, got through, I will then jog on over to the next objective, it's over that way, okay, come on Roach, sprint, alright there's actually a fast travel point there, how far away is this, see this could be quite far, it is quite far. Okay, so I'll go back to the fast travel and use that. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard to get that far. Although we haven't really been around Skelliger. Um, okay. How close can I get to this then? So it is over here. We can't get anywhere close. That's the closest I can get. Okay. Okay. It's closer than just running. No, I mean, um, riding. Here, Roach. Hi, right, over there in the bush. You trying to spy on us? Hey. Eh? Right. It's this way. Let's go, Roach. Straight on. There's another wild horse. Um, going past the bandit camps. Uh, left. Yep. Come on, Roach. <laughs> Get your auto parting done. There we go. He's going the right way. That's good. That's good. Yep. Still going the right way. Hasn't decided to change path anytime soon. That's good. Do, do, do. There's actually a merchant there. Yeah. Okay. There's a random merchant. Carry on going. There's stuff down there. New mark of a hidden treasure. I'll get that later. Off I go. Roach hasn't been a pain in this trip so far. That's good. There's more stuff there. Okay, carry on. Right, through here. Wow, that's some high level shit. Carry on, Roach. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> that's right. It's a fast travel point here. Oh, I took the wrong path. Okay, right. Up I go, and then talk to Yen. Hey, Yen. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return. Come out now. Ha! <laughs> Generosity. Just one small problem. Once used. The mask is rendered completely okay. worthless. Use it once. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the isles with us. Uh, Barry, what, are you what are you talking about? She's not told you. Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orboros created the mask, and the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. 
It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Uh, anyone actually used it though? So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Okay. Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Um, she did it for Siri. Yeah, she did it for Siri. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Siri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Jennifer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, Yen. No. What have you done? Jennifer shoes the mask. Right, let's go. And there's another merchant just running through here. What the hell are you doing? Why were you here? <laughs> Can I talk to you? No? Oh my god, okay. Let's carry on, whatever you're doing. Great. That's chocolate. Ow. Oh yeah, but they've got you up and taking a lot of damage now. Come here, Foglet. Hey, slap you. Almost. Ow. There it is. Got it. Okay. What was that? Foglets are Unicorns. annoying. Damn it, Yen. I saw the Foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. What do we do now? No, Hermione he's furious with the you. Mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. What do we do now? What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind, eh? Gonna read my mind again? You object? Nope. You do it whenever you want anyway. No harm in it then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first spot. Okay, so it's just down this way then. Quest items, yeah, like the um... Yeah, okay, equip it. There we go. Like the lantern that we had before. Yes. Right, it's this me healing spot. for a bit. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until you've seen everything. And don't use it here. Telepathy is limited in range. Okay. So they went this What's way. What's that? The portal? Two people emerged from it. Was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next one. Suppose spot. she just walks normally to us, but to to Geralt, she looks like she's walking like a witcher. That's that. Oh, that's Foglet. Take it, Foglet. Ow. Sound of a dodge like mad. Will they appear? There we go. Attack. Ow. Attack. There we go. Ready? I need to heal up a bit, Use so I'll eat some honeycomb. Actually, no, I'm gonna go forward an hour. That didn't do much. Fine, I'm gonna have to eat the old fashioned way. 
honeycomb it is. And then some raspberries, I imagine. Once that runs out, just just going to eat up. I might put some... Yeah, I, I used that and popped antidote earlier, so I'm going to take that off of my hotbar. Because it gets annoying. Um, so food... I will put some grapes on, because I've only got one of them, so I might as well just quickly use them up. There we go, now we've got chicken leg equipped. So that's used, I'll oh, use the last raspberry and see what that brings up. There we go, chicken sandwich. Okay. Some dried fruit. Well, that's take me to max, I can use this. Watch out! What was that? Hmm. Okay. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager even the echo was dangerous, okay. So that would probably what destroyed the place. Syria and her companion yeah. weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is okay. creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. That bloody foglet. Die for how? Die, Foglet. There's a the end there. Dead. Nice and simple. Um, oh. Do you want to drive through it now? No harm in it. Raw meat next. For that. Okay. Some big foods next. Now I've got rid of all the Someone berries and shit. See that? <laughs> Might have okay, so we're through there. Through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Venom. Venom. Okay. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Okay. Off you go. Well, ready. Use the mask. No enemies here, that's cool. Nice fight. Oh, okay. One repelled the other with powerful magic and fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. Cutsy. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. I see where the attacker landed. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermian must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us! <laughs> there he is. If someone's death were to help you find Siri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Don't answer that one, Yen. Uh, calm down. Nothing happened. Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? Um... I got a feeling the trail. You something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Right, so around here, there should be something. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you? Under the tree? You say? I can. Nice, yeah. clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? 
A wild hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Tell you later. It's a long story. <laughs> We're not going through all that now. Elder blood, Siri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Siri can do much more than her mother could. But right now, we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindisfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelling. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders set the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach okay. near Lofoten. Might as well go there now. Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Not got much exactly to stay like around here for. Either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very Is this a comment well, about go. earlier when Stay I close to took you. that potion? Good luck to you. I took off my hot bars. Okay, I won't do that again. Anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindus But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Okay, let's go and find people. So just over here. Oh, it's cutscene. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking, looking for, for an ashen haired woman that came of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This creed does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden. To fight Morkvag. What is a Morkvag? <laughs> What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing the wrath of the gods. Morkvag sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I yeah, can get sure. Rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. 
There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. But I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Um, where is yeah, this holy garden? Where is it? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Okay, cowards usually A coward who willingly monsters. seeks battle. Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. I suppose, yeah. Craven knew Makes he sense. would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very scary. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. I suppose that's it then. Thanks, Goodbye. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Right. Follow Yen. Come on, Yen. It's this way. So slow, Yen. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. What's this through here? Geralt, come back. Hmm. There's some. Okay. Don't mind me, Yen. Just gonna do some side questing. Kill this and take this loot. There we go. That was easy. One sec, Yen. There could be some good stuff in here. Uh, ooh, there's some more armor. I'll take that. Yeah, it's better than mine. Less durability, but... Oh well. It's uh, an upgrade. Right. So, I've got some more diagrams as well. Anything else around here? No. There's just a dead body. I'll go over and get that. Cool. Right. How exactly? Don't mind me, Yen. I'm just getting an upgrade. <laughs> you could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? It's long this way then, yeah? There's a circle. Round here. Come on, Yen. Take your time. Up round here then. Uh, there's a fast travel, there's the my gate, my. okay. A bite. Just one morsel. <laughs> One piece, a crumb, uh, uh, food, uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shank, not, not again, not again. Okay. I can see this guy's voice really annoying me. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Right. Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Okay, here's a tree. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. 
Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Okay. Um, I'll see you later then. <laughs> Fine. See you later then. Don't anger the beast. Hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. <laughs> okay, that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next part. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and like me on Facebook. Farewell, guys.